Planet GFX and today I'm going to show you how to make a user, user bar which is pretty easy and now uh, just do what I do Set it to 19 for the height and the width 319 and we'll see the result. Okay, that should work out. And now we we get a logo. Go to Google.com and go to images. And um let's see. Simply find the logo that you want. That that also you want to do the position. Now let's see. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Okay. Copy. Let me go back to Photoshop and. <coughs> And erase this and go get the move tool and shrink it down. Shrink it down. Be sure when you shrink the I mean resize the I the render or logo. Be sure you put um be sure you put I mean you press shift sorry about that. Come on. Yeah. So now we get gradient which I have here. Just yeah. Gradient. Put the layer number two, and let's see. We do that. Oh, never mind that. Create a new one, and we put paste, and we get a rectangular marquee tool, and just observe. Then you press backspace to clear it out. Backspace. Backspace. And option. And backspace to remove the white thing a while ago. Then we go back to our user bar, delete the, the layer number one and you uh, you go to move tool, move your logo and resize it. Be and when you resize it Make sure you press shift. And we got a new layer. Then we go to paint bucket tool and go oh yeah, I forgot I forgot this tutorial. We get to new file, then new Put three, three, it's gonna be small. Observe, we zoom it, we zoom it like that. Oh, make sure.
make sure it's turned back. Try that again. Try it back. There we go. Three. Three. And get that. And now you get a pencil tool and you usually get square when you when you choose one. Then you just do this, then this, then this, and you go to edit, uh, define pattern, and you put scale line. But I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I already have. I will put it on the description. And we put this over and we put put oh we put it on the right. Make it nice and easy. Okay. Photo shop user. make sure it's not as big as it can because it's gonna look ugly and we're basically done thank you for watching my tutorial and stay tuned for more gfx tutorial